Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. It is starting out to be a beautiful day. It is still winter, but it's plus two right now and it's supposed to reach plus five uh, Celsius that is. And I'm sick of looking at this thing in the garage, so it's time to take her for a spin. Now the crappy part about taking your car out like this is that there's lots of snow and it uh, starts to melt. The roads are, you know, quite wet. Um, it isn't right now because it's still a little cold from the morning, but I'm sure by the afternoon <clears throat> the roads will be a little damp. And if there's salt, well, then it, you know, flies up on your car and that. So uh, I got a feeling that I'll be cleaning this thing when I get home tonight uh, just to get some of the uh, road stuff off the car. And just to give you guys an update while we're driving to work here on the Jeep. Um, well, here, I'll show you. Now an update on the Jeep, over the weekend I had it uh, out on my, on my yard and I, have, I live on a pretty busy street and uh, a buddy of mine drove by and he called me up and he said hey I just blew by your house, he says how much uh, for the Jeep? So anyway we started talking and uh, we worked out a deal and he's buying it for his wife. So uh, not even a week and I didn't really even push to sell it, I was kind of hoping to have it for the whole winter and then sell it but uh, I just put it out there, you know, and see what would happen and just get a feel for the market. Now, obviously these are friends of ours and really, really nice people. Uh, so I didn't make, uh, you know, what I wanted to on the vehicle. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's going to a good family and uh, they, they really, really like it. She took it for a ride um, and said, you know, I gotta have it. So, uh, I mean, it, like I said, it's very, very clean. For an 08, you can't believe how clean this vehicle is. It's in really, really good shape. Although I did hear a little chirp uh, from the engine as it was running he pointed out to me as well uh looks like either the tensioner or the belt there's a little chirping going on so i ordered a new tensioner a belt we're just going to put it all new on there and uh, they're going to come pick it up today at some point so here we go i'm on the hunt again for another jeep and i didn't make much money on it so things we do for friends that's you know perfectly fine with me so of course it's it's not chirping right now, but I did hear it and uh, it was doing it this morning when I drove in the work, but this is the tensioner. You can see it's a little weak, um, but that's what's making the chirping sound. And I'll give them a new belt as well. Uh, just topping up all the fluids, make sure that everything is okay. Um, all else looks good. Well, we'll give it a safety check. I already kind of inspected it the other day, but we'll go through it thoroughly today to make sure there's nothing wrong. And then uh, he can come pick it up. So there's the new belt and tensioner, quiet as can be, no more chirping. Um, and we, did, we checked it over for safety and, and everything is real good on it, brakes are all new. There shouldn't have any problems with this vehicle, it's a, it's a really good Jeep. Now, somebody on the last video, uh, Gary O, if you're watching, um, you know, you commented, you said, I bought it, or you're, you're quoting me saying that I bought this Jeep, but I'm not keeping it. You're a funny dude, or you're an odd dude or something, you said. Well, let me tell you how I think sometimes. The Jeep I want is a 2012 or newer in either white, actually white, with the, I like the tan interior, the leather tan interior. That's what I'm looking for. But to get the Jeep thing out of my system, if I find something like this that's a really good deal, that's a nice looking Jeep, that I think I can get at least my money back out of it or um, you know, make a few bucks on it until I find the one I'm after, I buy it. Uh, I get, like I said, I get it out of my system, I drive a Jeep. Now, this is an odd situation. I've only had it for like a week and my buddy, you know, is buying it, but, um, so I didn't get to keep it as long as I, I wanted to, but that's, that's what I like to do sometimes. When I get the itch, uh, like I did in the past for a Corvette, I wanted a, you know, a C6, wanted a Z06, never did get it, but to get the Corvette thing out of my system, I bought a normal C6 that was fixed up pretty decent and uh, you know at a decent price that I knew that I could sell later and get my money back out of it or, or some more so until I find the one that I'm after. So if you think that's odd, maybe I'm odd, but that, that's what I'm doing when I do things like this. I don't mean to you know put it on the channel and then take it away like this. My intent was to keep it a little longer, but I can't refuse when somebody wants to buy it. Uh, so you know that, that's what I did. Again, very nice looking Jeep. I think they're gonna enjoy this thing. I will probably miss it. I've had about a week of driving with it and uh, really enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully they enjoy it too. 
Now the other update I want to talk about guys is the dream garage. Um, I told you that I would make a series on the building of the garage and uh, well I think I've got part one already underway. Um, I'll, I'll, that'll be the next video. They won't be in a you know in a row because I'll have to do videos in between because the ones for the garage build I'm sure will be farther apart because I've got to wait for spring for guys to come dig and all that stuff. Um, so we'll do part one on the next video uh, which is the process of purchasing the building uh, permits and all that stuff and man there's a lot and that's why I've been away from YouTube for a while is because there is a lot to do behind the scenes before you can even uh, break ground for the building um, and again I'll explain that all in the next video so pay attention for that one uh, which you know uh, is a segue into if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so uh, that way you can see uh, all the upcoming videos and the dream garage build that will start in the next video. Okay, so I'm just pulling up to work and uh, uh, we're gonna, hopefully the guys are cooperative with this. I'm gonna uh, film a little bit of what we're doing at work as a little competition between the guys. So uh, let's see if they cooperate. Okay, so unless you've been hiding under a rock, you know what's going on in the stock market lately. The Reddit guys there are pumping up GME and AMC and all this stuff, GameStop. So it gave us a little bit of uh, uh, stock trading fever. So what we did, uh, as a little competition between the three of us here is we downloaded uh, what's the well simple is the app it's a free app and it's free trading there's no commissions or anything and what we did is we deposited two hundred dollars each uh, just as a starting point and then every week whoever has the biggest gains or whoever has the least gains has to buy the other two coffees so uh, this is the first week that we're doing it and uh, let's check what everyone has so Colin He's down five bucks, and that's so good, that's so good. Oh, you're even worse. One is, he's down, what, 12, 13 dollars. So I think we know who's getting coffee this week anyway. Um, well, mine's a, yeah, so I guess what do you guys have? I don't like this game. My eyes are trying so hard to actually comprehend, comprehend that I'm in a C8 right now. Like, all I ever see is people on the videos. Yeah, the videos. That's, that's all I have. One of them, actually. Oh my god, I've man. channel, it's doing pretty good. Woo! Yeah. I'm like slightly shaken. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Well, that was me the first time we got it. God, this is so cool. HUD, what's that? Yeah, that's uh, for the heads up display. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude, it's like an iPad on your hands. You got all the... That's all for your climate control stuff. Don't Holy it. shit! Push the front camera button. Uh, right up above the knob right there. Right oh my god, you'll never hit anything. Yeah, no, that's what I do when I Oh, and there's stuff. the heads up. I can see it. That's yeah. fucking insane. Push it again. There. Now I'm going to push the home button next to the volume button. Right there. Okay. Oh my god, the fucking rear view camera's a, a video camera? <laughs> yeah, you could, you could use either one, but it's very small the other way. <laughs> oh my As you can imagine, it's a <laughs> Yeah, it's a camera. I'm mind blown right now. This is the coolest thing I've ever fucking sat in. Yeah. still sunny so good day today uh, but anyway I do want to reveal something 
uh, something that I, I don't think I've told you guys in any of the videos, um, I, I, at least I, I don't think so. I, I, I'm not gonna check back because it's too hard to go through all my videos, but I don't think I've mentioned this to you guys yet. What I did, when I picked up this car, it was November 4th of 2020. That day, I spoke to the dealership and I said, uh, put my name on a Z06. So I have my name on a Z06. They inform me that I'm number four at that dealership. Uh, so they're, they're supposed to get four allocations, I believe he said. So I, I'm, I'm the fourth allocation uh, for the Z06 for 2022. Um, now, it doesn't guarantee me that, let me put the cruise control on here so I don't find myself speeding. It doesn't guarantee me that I'm going to get it. It just, uh, my name's on the list. If in fact they do get four allocations or more, uh, then I will get one. Uh, but if not, then, you know, I'm pretty happy with this car. Uh, I will be trading this in, obviously, but it's still about a year away, so we're still gonna have lots of fun and lots of content in this car. Uh, but there will be a Z06 coming to the channel. So anyway, that brings this video to an end, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as usual, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.